What's up, people? It's King Dub the Seven. This is not a false alarm. We are playing Nintendo Switch console on the channel. The first game we're going to play for the Nintendo Switch on the channel, though, is going to be Arms. Now, first things first, I'm using my Pro Controller for Arms. I don't like Joy-Con motion controls, all that moving around and stuff like that. I like the buttons, you know, the analog stick, you know, all of that, and the uh, the uh. Pro controller is a super like it's one of the best feeling controllers that I used. So like it's not a problem using this. Please sponsor me, Nintendo. Um, so what we're gonna be doing first on the Grim Prix, right? The first thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be playing with the John Cena of arms. His name is John Cena. Spring man. But first, I want to show something off. Um, I already beat Grim Prix on the hardest difficulty with Twintel. I'm on a GP7 club, uh, Grim Prix 7 club. It's no small feat. This is not going to be easy whatsoever. You guys will see once I get in the game. But uh, first, let's set some arms because... Okay, so the thing about arms, right, there are multiple different arms you can use. Each character has their own set of default arms. As you get in the game, you can pick between three for your left and your right, but you have to set those arms as you just saw before you can get them. Live from Spring Stadium, the vigor, the bounce, the excitement of the arms Grand Prix is upon us. And who else would be, the, who else would be here to share in this action-packed event but your buddy Biff? Excitement's building as everyone waits to see the famous spring man spring into action. He's the epitome of smooth. In fact, I've never seen one strand of his pomodoro fall out of place. That's crazy. Uh, more to the point, the bouncer is determined to take down the legendary champion, Max Brass. Will he do it? Can he do it? Stay tuned. The Arms Grand Prix begins any minute now. See how, uh, I didn't Floyd Mayweather that, you know. Master Mummy. Master Mummy is a uh, heavy character in the game. So the thing about this game is a lot more detailed than people actually think. The thing about Master Mummy is usually when you hit people with your arms, they get in a hit stun. And uh, like they can't really throw out attacks. Master Mummy, when he gets hit, he doesn't throw out attacks. When he blocks... He heals 10, uh, 10 HP per second, I want to say. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, very unique character. Might be annoying to deal with, actually. My goal is to not get grabbed because he has the strongest grab in the game. So if he gets hit, so the thing, I know I say he doesn't get hit stunned, but the thing about it though is you can charge your arms. You can charge your arms and they do more damage. See in that case he didn't get hit stunned, see how I did. I don't want to get hit by that. Now what he just did is something called Burst. Grab, got him with juggle. And I'm going to try to punish. Got him. So, the Burst gauge, it feels as you throw out punches. And what I just did is, so when you, when you Burst, it kind of pauses the game a little bit and you can immediately start spamming punches. What I did there is I waited for him to throw a punch out. And as soon as I saw that, I knew I could punish him with the first attack. So that thing, Master Mummy also, the thing about Master Mummy is that his, 
His arms have a uh, big hit rate. 200 damage to a lot. I was hoping he would run into that. Okay, Master Mummy is turning up now. I, I didn't think he could use arm that fast enough. I just kept rolling forward too. I didn't really want to be in that vacuum. But I should have rolled away and tried to force him to use it first. So he wouldn't have it for this round. Now he has a burst and I don't early on. So he has an advantage. And he just tried to punish me. But I was able to dodge. I'm just going to move around like that. Could have grabbed him there. I got a little bit scared though. Now I'm going to punish him. Hmm, juggle. I got grabbed. Was it GG? If he hit me, I would have been tilted, and it probably would have been a GG. That was a that was an annoying match to play against. Let's go to the next match. So how many? Seven minutes. You know what? The next match will actually be in the next video. Can we get a like for that gameplay though? That was some educational arms gameplay. You're gonna have some more education in the next video. I can't give you everything I know you know. But uh, can we drop some likes for that education and that gameplay that we just got in his arms, uh, his arms game. Also, if you wanna continue to see arms gameplay, remember, hit the sub button. Doesn't cost any money to sub. Doesn't cost any money to support. It's King Dub the Seventh signing out.